What's up guys? Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be checking out how to create your very own automated blinds using a servo motor and ESP8266 and a little custom board that I built. If that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on MI Sperry. Today's video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com. This is a great PCB fab house. They offer some of the best prices for getting PCBs made in the market today, especially if you're on a budget. They offer up to six layer PCB fabrication, even with a provided SMT stencil based on your design. When I started using this service, I was amazed at the quality of the circuit boards. No solder mask over vias, no silk screen issues, and no solder mask peeling. These are a good, high quality board and I recommend them to anyone. Check the link in the description to get free shipping on your first order. Okay, to start this off, we need to go ahead and disassemble our blinds. We need to remove the standard uh, pole chain that allows it to open and shut the blinds. So in order to do that, we'll just simply unknot the little strings that go through the little tassel holders. And once we get that undone, these should slide right off and then we should be able to remove the mechanism. Okay, now that we've got the mechanism taken out, we can set that off to the side. Next thing is we want to install our 3D printed bracket that's going to hold our switch. So we'll slide that in the end and snap it down into the hole. Also flip it over, make sure that uh, it's snapped in properly. Now we can add the switch. So the switch should just slide down through the hole and the chain dangle out the bottom. This is just a simple switch that I got from my local hardware store, nothing fancy. And we slide on the uh, threaded nut, so that way it secures it in place. Next, we will do the servo motor. So I had to cut off one side of the servo motor, so that way it will fit in the channel once installed with the L bracket that I 3D printed, also available at the link down below. Also, you need the splined uh, square shank uh, coupling. This is also 3D printed from the link below. Once this is all assembled, you press it together now we'll take a look at how it's hardware wired up. Uh, this is also available at the link down below on the GitHub site, so that way you can view the schematic. Next, we will take a peek at the code. All we'll do is enter our Wi-Fi information as well as our MQTT server information. And scrolling on down through here, you will have to also update any uh, commands or uh, specific uh, topics or whatever that you have created. Now don't forget that you can always purchase an ESP8266 programmer helper. All proceeds help the channel out, but check, check it out on tindy.com. It will help you program the ESP a lot faster. Now we will check out our YAML file. These are the different pieces that you need to add uh, to your YAML files for it to work properly. We add it as a light. Next, you will once you get that restarted, you should see it appear as a light on your uh, index for your Home Assistant. And you can use the brightness slider to open it a little bit or a whole lot, a variable in between. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this whole project. It seemed pretty cool to me. It took me a while to get all the things put together. I've got some more stuff coming. There'll be more videos on this. We're gonna end up working on putting together a some sort of solar powered uh, system to keep a uh, battery charge so that way you don't have to hang a cord um, off somewhere and keep it plugged in so that way it'll truly be battery powered and you won't have to worry about changing batteries all the time. Hopefully I can get that working but I've had some trouble with the solar panels so I'm um putting it in the works. So guys, thank you very much. If you would like to support the channel and support everything, hit that like button. That really does help the channel a lot, as well as check down below, check the links, some of the affiliate links I got down there. Check out JLCPCB. That place is great. They offer a lot of different, uh, basically, ways to build the boards. Uh, the board that I showed in this one was done with the uh, Enig process. Um, check out that link down below for specials and things like that, but go check them out. I was very, very impressed with the quality of the board, and uh, even though uh, they this is basically a sponsored video, I don't... Uh 
take sponsors unless uh, it's something that I personally have used and I personally uh, enjoy and actually like. And I give my honest opinion. So go check them out. They really do have some of the best prices that are out there. Um, and it comes very quick uh, to your door. So check them out. And guys, with that, I think that ought to do it. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.